One of the most popular sections of Raleigh, North Carolina is North Raleigh. On today's video, we're going to detail all the reasons why so many people are flocking to North Raleigh, North Carolina. So the first big reason why people are flocking to North Raleigh, the quality of life. Beyond all of the cool things to do in North Raleigh, the neighborhoods themselves really, really contribute to the quality of life. Many of the neighborhoods, such as Bedford at Falls River, have tons of amenities inside the neighborhood. You don't even have to go anywhere to enjoy swimming, tennis, playgrounds for the kids, sidewalks, community center with lots of clubs and things like that. A lot of neighborhoods in North Raleigh have these great amenities inside the neighborhoods. As well, I kind of touched on it a second ago, there's lots of really, really great restaurants and shopping in North Raleigh. This definitely contributes to the quality of life. You don't have to drive like an hour to get to a decent grocery store. You don't have to drive 45 minutes to get to a decent restaurant. Basically, just about any kind of cuisine you can imagine is in North Raleigh, and certainly just about any grocery store you would need or shopping experience you would need is easily accessible either inside North Raleigh or pretty close outside in some of the other bands of Raleigh. Beyond all of these things, the abundant outdoor activities you can find in North Raleigh also greatly contribute to the quality of life, such as the sidewalks inside the neighborhoods I was telling you about or the greenway trails that are easily accessible from many, many points inside North Raleigh. Plus you have Falls Lake in North Raleigh, which allows for boating, swimming, and fishing. Tons of outdoor activities are available in North Raleigh. And for the fitness buffs out there, there's plenty of gyms in North Raleigh, such as O2 Fitness, Crunch Fitness, and we can't forget Lifetime, which is on Falls of Noose. It's literally a resort without a hotel, I like to call it. There's an indoor pool, an outdoor pool, hot tubs, full gym equipment, tons of classes, a restaurant, a hair salon, nail salon, even a chiropractor in this lifetime. It's a killer opportunity, a great place to join, highly recommended. And beyond all of these things we've talked about, because North Raleigh is so popular, we're seeing new things pop up all the time. Really, really cool things coming, such as new restaurants and Trader Joe's is coming to North Raleigh in the next year. So many, many things coming. Another great reason why so many people are flocking to North Raleigh it's extremely close to the airport. A drive from North Raleigh to RDU Airport is gonna take you anywhere between five minutes and around 30 minutes. And that's of course, depending on what part of North Raleigh you live in. I will say, however, about 90% of North Raleigh is only about 15 to 20 minutes from the airport. So very, very easily you can get from your home to the airport and off to your destination without much delay whatsoever. And of course, one of the reasons why you can get to the airport so quickly and really to just about any point in the Raleigh Triangle area very quickly is there's many, many on ramps to Interstate 540 in North Raleigh, which again allows you to get to the airport and many, many other places very, very quickly. And incidentally, we need to let you know because of its proximity to the airport, there are some sections of North Raleigh that are affected by the air traffic noise. There is a map that we're happy to provide for you. Just simply reach out to us. We'll get you that map to give an idea of what air noise is in what sections of North Raleigh that you may be interested in moving to. And speaking of close location, another reason why people live and are flocking to North Raleigh is it's close to Research Triangle Park. And for those who don't know, Research Triangle Park is a gigantic technology research hub for the entire United States, but most certainly for North Carolina. Attracts tons of people from all over the world, all over the country to come work in Research Triangle Park, and many of those people choose to live in North Raleigh. And of course, beyond the quality of life, as we've kind of alluded to, it's a fairly quick drive from North Raleigh to Research Triangle Park. You can count on a drive of anywhere between 15 minutes and 30 minutes to get to Research Triangle Park from your home in North Raleigh. The next reason people love living in North Raleigh and why so many people are flocking there is the diverse dining scene. We kind of touched on it a little bit earlier when we talked about quality of life in North Raleigh, but we most certainly need to emphasize the diverse food scene in North Raleigh. You can get just about any kind of food you can imagine from Italian to Asian, Japanese, Mediterranean, Thai, Mexican, American style food, just about anything you can imagine. Now, certainly there are plenty of chain restaurants you can choose to eat at in North Raleigh, but there's a lot of really great independence in North Raleigh as well. 
Among our favorites are Cafe Tiramisu, really, really great Italian restaurant, Vinny Steakhouse, steakhouse restaurant, Sassoul for Mediterranean food. It's sort of like a cafeteria style where you tell the folks there that work at Sassoul what you want and they can mix and match different things. Very, very rarely have we had anything beyond an excellent meal at Sassoul, so highly recommended there. Margot's is a really, really great fine dining restaurant in North Raleigh off of Creedmoor Road. And Winston's Grill is definitely an institution of North Raleigh, a place to see and be seen where you can get pretty much Americana food, but on a high-end squite tablecloth scale. Definitely a great place to go to have lunch if you're meeting friends or family or, or whatnot. Another reason why so many people are flocking to North Raleigh, the luxury neighborhoods you can find in the area. Now I do need to say North Raleigh is a very diverse area to live in. There's plenty of apartments, condos, townhomes, smaller single family homes, medium sized single family homes, but lately the majority of the construction that's been going on in North Raleigh has been on the high end, the luxury neighborhoods out there. Among the really, really prominent ones that we sell in quite a bit and we have clients ask about are Avalare, which is recently just sold out. We in fact sold the very last home in Avalare and our clients are currently under construction, should be done building their home in about four or five months. Can't wait to see the final product. Another great neighborhood right next to Avalara is Shadow Creek Estates. This is ongoing, very high-end neighborhood. Everything's starting at about two and a half million currently. A beautiful neighborhood, really well done. As well, you have Northridge Country Club and Golf Course, which has been a neighborhood that's been established for a lot of years. Really, really great location in North Raleigh. Seeing a lot of teardowns in that neighborhood now where builders and developers are buying smaller homes, tearing them down and putting much larger homes on those lots. Also in North Raleigh, there's Devon and Faircroft, two really, really great neighborhoods that have been around for a number of years. We recently sold about eight months ago a home in Faircroft, beautiful home. Our clients are absolutely over the moon for that house. And we also have to say there's a number of newer neighborhoods coming online, such as Shinleaf Estates and the Sanctuary at Falls River, among many, many others that are on the drawing board that we sort of have some inside knowledge about. And of course, feel free to contact us and we're happy to hunt down any new construction opportunities or going on in North Raleigh or really anywhere in the Triangle to help you out. The next reason so many people are flocking to North Raleigh, proximity to outdoor activities and we've kind of touched on it earlier when we talked about quality of life but definitely need to go into details about it here. North Raleigh has a ton of green space, a ton of nature, a ton of parks, ton of great opportunities to get out and commune with nature. Falls Lake is an absolutely beautiful lake in North Raleigh. It's the main water source for most of the Triangle region. It's a great opportunity to get out and go boating, swimming, fishing, all that sort of thing, or just simply having a picnic around many of the on-ramps and areas around Falls Lake. Also, there's a ton of hiking trails and the Raleigh Greenway has many, many access points inside of North Raleigh. In particular, I'm thinking of Bedford at Falls River, a neighborhood I lived in for over 10 years. There are two different access points in Bedford to get on the Raleigh Greenway and take you just about anywhere in Wake County and beyond that you can imagine. Super, super great for the neighbors to be able to leave their home, walk on the sidewalks of Bedford at Falls River, get on the Greenway Trail, either bike on the or biking on the Greenway Trail, and go enjoy the great outdoors. And of course, this isn't the only neighborhood with Greenway Trail access. Many, many parts of North Raleigh have access giving you the opportunity to get out and again, hiking, walking, biking, or walking the dog. Another reason why people are flocking to North Raleigh is the beautiful neighborhoods. Beyond the luxury neighborhoods we told you about a few minutes ago, there's also some really, really nice established neighborhoods in North Raleigh that's really continuing to draw people in because they're so beautiful, because the trees have grown out, and because there's so much infrastructure around them. One of the most notable neighborhoods that I'm thinking about is Wakefield Plantation. It is on the border of North Raleigh and Wake Forest, North Carolina, sort of straddles the two. Great opportunity to move to a humongous neighborhood with tons of different homes, everything from condos to townhomes to starter homes, medium-sized homes, and giant luxury estate homes are all in Wakefield. There's also a TPC golf course in Wakefield and a number of shopping opportunities, three different 
shopping centers are in Wakefield. There's medical in Wakefield, a YMCA, gymnasiums, all kinds of stuff in this area. Literally, if you work from home, you wouldn't even need to leave the confines of Wakefield to have a great, great life. Also, other prominent neighborhoods, we've already talked about it a lot and we talk about it a lot on this channel, Bedford at Falls River. It's a great neighborhood of about 1,800 homes in North Raleigh. It's just down the street, down Falls of Noose from Wakefield. And this neighborhood has won many, many national awards for being an amazing new urbanism style neighborhood. There are bungalows in Bedford, Charleston style homes, estate homes, town homes, just about any kind of home style you can imagine you're gonna find in Bedford. There's a commercial center inside the middle of the neighborhood with a sushi restaurant and a little cafe and a dry cleaners and all kinds of stuff like that. And then on the front of the neighborhood, right on Falls of Noose, there's another shopping center that opened a few years ago that has a gym, a Mexican restaurant, a pizza place, a really, really nice wine and beer store. We are very good friends with the owners of that place. We highly recommend you go check out Local 919. Definitely a great place to get a beer or buy beer. Definitely a great place to have a glass of wine or buy a bottle of wine. They have tastings all the time. Again, highly recommended. There's also some other restaurants and shops in there. I know there's a nail salon. Definitely a great opportunity to go and have a great meal and have a great evening out. A couple of other neighborhoods in North Raleigh we need to make sure we tell you about. Falls River, it's the neighborhood that's attached to Bedford at Falls River. It's a very much a new urbanism neighborhood as well. Sidewalks, really, really great quality of life. My cousin lives in Falls River and I know many, many other people have. We've sold houses in and out of Falls River, so definitely a highly recommended neighborhood. They have lots of great community events. I know Halloween in Falls River is the place to be. We try to go and visit with my cousin, her husband, and their two kids, my second cousins, all the time on Halloween. It's a great event, highly recommended, great neighborhood to live in. Also Durant Trails and all the neighborhoods along Durant Road right across the street from Falls River are also some really, really great neighborhoods. These are just a few of the neighborhoods in North Raleigh. There are many, many others definitely reach out to us. We're happy to turn you on to some different opportunities based on your budget and based on your personal lifestyle and needs. Another reason people love living in North Raleigh is the abundance of shopping centers. So the first thing you need to know about North Raleigh is the majority of the shopping opportunities are shopping center strip mall types of establishments. There are a couple of malls nearby. Crabtree Valley Mall is in central Raleigh, very, very close to North Raleigh. North Hills Mall, we've talked about, award-winning shopping district, again, very, very close to North Raleigh, and Triangle Town Center on the outskirts in East Raleigh of North Raleigh. But in the North Raleigh area, common North Raleigh established area, you're going to find mostly strip mall centers such as Lafayette Center, which is really, really cool. It's sort of a French-themed shopping and dining destination. Really great shops in here, as well as really great restaurants. Definitely need to let you know there's Vinos Finos, which is a wine bar that's in Lafayette. There's Farina Italian. Jabala Coffee, which is award-winning, really well-known coffee shop. It got its start in Lafayette and it's since branched out into other locations. And Zanyu Asian Noodles is also in Lafayette. Again, this is in addition to some really, really cool shopping like a chocolate store that's there. There's a nail salon, hair salon, a dog grooming place, and a French bakery that's coming online very, very soon. And we hear rumors that they're going to have macaroons. Another great shopping center we need to let you know about is Sutton Square. Sutton Square has Winston's Grill. We talked about it earlier in the restaurant section of this video, but there's also a fresh market there, which is one of our favorite grocery stores. There's a sporting goods store in Sutton Square. There's also a Metro Diner, which is a chain restaurant that sort of feels like a local establishment. Definitely a great place to get pancakes, I've heard. Well, I can't really say I've heard it. I've actually had their pancakes. They're really, really good. Definitely recommended. Also, there's Greystone Village, which is one of my favorite shopping centers in anywhere in the world. It's so cool. Everything in this shopping center is amazing. Sola Coffee is there. They have like food and 
really, really good coffee. Gonzo Tacos is there. It's the original location of Gonzo. They have really good Mexican food. There's an amazing Chinese restaurant. Yeah, Chinese whatever, right? Well, the Chinese food is really, really good and it has a really retro feel because they haven't remodeled since they opened, but that gives it its charm. Really, really great sushi restaurant. Just about anything you can imagine in this complex is really, really good. So definitely recommend Greystone Village. It's off of Lynn Road in North Raleigh, easily accessible to just about anywhere. Again, highly recommended. Also, we had to tell you about Brennan Station. Brennan Station is home to Margo's. We told you about the fine dining restaurant. There's also Briggs Restaurant in Brennan Station where you can get breakfast or lunch. They specialize in breakfast. Many other shops in this area. There's Wendy's and McDonald's and Harris Teeter Grocery Store. But what makes Brennan Station such a big deal is that is the location of Trader Joe's. It's going to be opening within the next year. We're all super excited about that. It's going to be definitely a place to see and be seen in North Raleigh. And beyond all of these strip malls and shopping centers, we got to let you know about Bombay Central Indian Grocery Store. This is a really cool place. It's opened up in the last year. It's off of Falls of Noose, super near our office. We stop by there all the time on the way home. They've got all kinds of really cool Indian and Asian spices and foods and all kinds of really, really cool stuff there. You can get freezer food that you can cook yourself. They even have a little restaurant that you can either eat there or do takeout. Really good butter chicken among many, many other Indian dishes there. Highly recommend recommended again super easy location it's sort of on the corner of Falls of Noose and 540 you can get right off of 540 and go straight into their parking lot it's really really cool and beyond Bombay Central grocery store there's also Whole Foods grocery store which is really well known we've already told you about Fresh Market one of our favorites and last but not least we got to tell you Costco is only about 10 or 15 minutes drive time from just about anywhere in North Raleigh it has certainly become a Raleigh Institute over the years that it's been open. Do not recommend you go to Costco on Saturdays, which is when we seem to be going all the time. I don't know why that happens, but we do not recommend going to Costco on Saturdays unless you like to hang out with about 10 to 20,000 of your closest friends. Another great reason people are flocking to North Raleigh, it's not as congested as other parts of the Triangle. So downtown Raleigh and Cary are two areas that come to my mind as being relatively congested. Now, congested is a relative term. I know that our friends in Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, New York City, I should say, are laughing at me right now when I say that Raleigh is congested. But that being said, if you don't like the hustle and bustle of a city life, North Raleigh has a little bit slower pace. Now, that isn't to say that we don't have traffic jams in North Raleigh, it does happen, but because the lots tend to be a little bigger for the houses, that lack of density is gonna result in it not feeling as crowded. And so therefore you're probably not gonna have to wait in as many lines as you would at the Starbucks in North Raleigh as you would in say the Starbucks downtown. Another reason people are flocking to North Raleigh, it's less expensive than areas like downtown Raleigh. The lots do tend to be a little bit bigger. The prices tend to be a little bit less. So if you're not desperate to live in say downtown Raleigh, you're gonna find a lot more value for your money by moving further to the north. And another reason people are flocking to North Raleigh, the highly rated schools. Niche.com gives Raleigh as a whole a score of A for its schools. And many of the schools that Niche.com gives an A or an A plus two that are public or private schools can be found in North Raleigh, as you can see here on the map. So if you're interested in moving to North Raleigh, contact us, we'll be happy to help you out. Check out this video, we think you're really gonna like this one as well. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.